Hey everyone, I'm using Mystical Moments for our reading today. I'll choose three cards, read some from the base of the pack and I'll also choose three from the Destiny pack as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video that is a beautiful energy a gateway of cosmic light entering earth today and also numerologically as well it's a very powerful day it's the 18th of the ninth month so we have a nine nine and a universal day of seven so we're in the the universal year of seven so again it's the endings and the new beginnings, the transformation, the alchemization of all the lower energies. So beautiful time today to sit out or to sit at home and just open up and allow this energy to flow through, entering each of our chakras, bringing out, visualize our chakras coming into alignment, filling with this miraculous healing light and sending it into our earth star chakra into the ley lines of mother earth and also into the heart of mother earth so re receiving this downpouring of divine source energy that is really bringing through such higher wisdom bringing through those those messages and and from the heart of the the cosmos into the heart of mother earth being a conduit so those messages can be received the vibration can and the frequency can be received in the heart of mother earth so a wonderful day to keep our mind focused on that today. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective for anyone who views this video. There we have the Two of Cups. The Nine of Swords. And then the wheel of fortune and at the base of the pack we have the ace of swords the ace of ones uh, pentacles the seven of pentacles so this is a wonderful day to focus on love allow love to dissolve anything else the, the, the nine of swords is all around us overthinking, overanalyzing things, backing ourselves into a corner, feeling trapped, but it's only our head that's, that's doing that, our old thoughts. So as we, they are transmuted with love, us coming back to ourselves with love, letting go of any fears of the future, the nines again it's it's completion this is coming to an end this is all about today the death of and the rebirth so that is shifting it's dissolving we're not listening to those thoughts any longer because we know they keep us in a place of contraction of fear and the illusion so we are coming out of this. This is the ending. They're being transformed and transmuted into love. Beautiful loving thoughts. Pure love. This is the like the lovers in the major arcana. Powerful love coming in. And opening our hearts to receive it today. Divine love heals it transmutes, it purifies our hearts, our minds, so that we can open up to love without having the old dialogue from the past 
warm enough putting doubt there that's been transformed now opening up through this portal of today this gateway this heavenly gateway being healed with divine love and then we have the wheel of fortune and this is connected to Jupiter the planet of expansion that may be shining a light onto these these rigid thoughts shining a light to expand them this is the wheel turning the wheel of fate turning and as we focus on love we that that is us taking the steering wheel of our life and steering it into this beautiful time of love of coming back home to love then we have the Ace of Swords, which is enlightenment. So as we shift and change those thoughts, we have space then for this higher wisdom to come in that creates beautiful thoughts and brings in powerful enlightenment. Then we have the Ace of One, at uh, the Ace of Pentacles. These thoughts really coming in and creating a difference in our physical realm. These thoughts from the core of the universe, from the core of the of the galaxy, coming through, telling us that we are always supported, heavenly supported, and divinely guided to listen, to let go of any impatience that we may have. Things are going to start to come into our lives and you can see there she is moving through those cherry trees, all bowing, divine light there. And as we move into that light, we, we draw divine abundance to us, divine support beautiful opportunities so things starting to get better now and then the seven of pentacles telling us not to worry not to worry everything is going to come in everything is going to work out far greater than what we could ever ever imagine you can see there he is in that tree and that tree is golden his roots are down into the earth and we have been doing that healing and breaking away from our limiting beliefs we're breaking away from that and stem staying in that place of our roots deep down into the earth our divine wisdom coming through from our ancestors, connecting to the higher heavens and there, it's the pink planet. I always feel Venus, that love nurturing us. So a wonderful day of really sitting and using our imagination in a beautiful, expansive way. And any of those thoughts that come in or anything from the outside that takes our attention away, bring it back. Because we're unplugging from all that. We're not infusing it into our energy any longer. We're unplugging. And we're plugging in to the higher frequencies that are coming in. And this is card saying, do not worry. Everything is going to come to a beautiful fruition. So I'm setting the intention out for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. Oh, the one's just flown out there. And that was the fox. So I'll just leave that there for a second. I'm asking now for some clarification for underneath the two of cups. There 
we are anchor anchor in anchor this divine love in to our hearts and into the heart of mother earth and then we have the dog bringing through unconditional love and loyalty staying loyal to ourselves not being led astray by the outside world or those old thought forms underneath the ace of swords we have a book we all have a book inside us our book of life that we are projecting onto and it, it our book of life resides within us and we are shifting in and creating a new chapter clear and pure filled with light filled with divine creations filled with divine words and the ace of pentacles things starting to move now so this movement where things may have been blocked things starting to shift now underneath the seven of pentacles we have the silver lining focusing on that silver lining knowing that everything is going to come in exactly how it's meant to in divine timing and then we have relationships so whatever may be blocking us in our relationships to see the silver lining to take the blessings from every single relationship because we have been taught so so much wisdom in every relationship that we've encountered throughout our lifetimes not just this lifetime to, to take the blessings of each and every one the wisdom and then we have protection Archangel Michael every time I see this card whatever we've been through in our lives wherever we are moving in our lives we are divinely protected and assisted so we have this protection so let go of any feelings of fear because they take us down into this and into this this card is a card of cunningness so we can't trust people because of everything that we've been through all that shifting now and we're seeing the learning every person's brought into our lives we are taking ownership of our self-worth and owning that and, and bringing our power back into that just ask for some clarification for underneath the nine so we have the tower to trust let go of the mist let go of not being able to trust people let go of it because we'll only pull other people in that because it's a vibration that it's a it's a connection we're plugging into so in your mind in, in your being visualize unplugging now from everything that has created a energy of not being able to, for us not to be able to trust because this is the card of trust so it over it over it lights and and dissolves the other two cards asking us to trust now to let go of all doubt to see the silver lining to see the blessings in everything that we've been through to look for because there's always always something there some wisdom there some growth there for us and to know that everything is moving in perfect and divine order with the sun melting away now all those blocks within us so wonderful cards today with this energy coming in enjoy focus that use your imagination to expand and and to really fully anchor these beliefs into our hearts a belief that we're all here to to 
to grow into our greatest potential, however that may be for each and every one of us. We're all so different, but we it's about us now shining and stepping into who we truly are. It's a wonderful start to the week, beautiful start to the week. And send us so much love. Enjoy this this galactic light. Open up, bring it in, and let everything else go. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you.